Hello friends, welcome to Eleven Learning. In this video, we are going to learn about Krebs cycle. But before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. What do you mean by Krebs cycle? The reaction which helps in converting pyruvate to carbon dioxide and water in mitochondria is known as Krebs cycle. It is also known as tricarboxylic acid cycle or TCA cycle or citric acid cycle. Do you know why it is called citric acid cycle? Because the first stable compound formed in this cycle is citric acid. We can study the cycle in three simple steps. Step 1. To learn the intermediate compounds. It can be studied in two simple codes. First code is pirated audio series isolated in alphabetic order. Let's decode it. Pi means pyruvate. A means acetyl coenzyme A. C means citrate. Iso means isocitrate. And alpha means alpha ketoglutarate. Second code is Successive sucrose molecules fused to make oxygen. Sux means succinyl coenzyme A. Suck means succinate. Fu means fumarate. Ma means malate. And finally, ox means oxaloacetate. Let's jump into step 2. To learn the enzymes involved in this cycle. There are total 8 enzymes that are involved in the cycle. Except 4 enzymes, the whole enzymes participating in Krebs cycle are dehydrogenases of their respective substrate compounds. For example, isocitrate in the presence of isocitrate dehydrogenase gives alpha ketoglutarate. Succinate in the presence of succinate dehydrogenase gives fumarate. The four exceptional cases are acetyl coenzyme A in the presence of citrate synthase gives citrate. Second one, succinyl coenzyme A in the presence of succinyl coenzyme A synthase gives succinate. Third one, citrate in the presence of aconitase gives isocitrate. And the fourth one, fumarate, in the presence of fumarase, gives malate. Now the last step, which is step 3, to count the number of ATP molecules. In this process, 3 NADH, 1 FADH2 and 1 GTP are formed. We already know that 1 NADH is equal to 3 ATP, 1 FADH2 is equal to 2 ATP and 1 GTP is equal to 1 ATP molecule. So, now let's count the net gain of ATP molecules. It can be calculated as follows. 3 NADH is equal to 3 into 3 ATP, which gives 9 ATP molecules. 1 FADH2 is equal to 1 into 2 ATP, which gives 2 ATP molecules. 1 GTP is equal to 1 into 1 ATP is equal to 1 ATP molecule. Finally, we get 12 ATP molecules in a single cycle. We have completed our final step. Let's recollect what we have studied throughout these steps. We have learned what is Krebs cycle, its definition and some basics about it. And then we went through the intermediate compounds, the enzymes involved and finally the net gain of the cycle in the number of ATPs. So that's all about Krebs cycle. I hope you all got the class. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.